What really troubles me, actually, is how uh, this uh, brain sex movement has infiltrated our classroom. So there are a lot of teachers that are paying uh, good money to go hear about essentially the same stereotypes from uh, various teacher trainers, neither of them a teacher themselves, Leonard Sachs, Michael Gurian. Sachs has written several books, one of them, uh, his first called Why Gender Matters, uh, where he writes, in girls, emotion is processed by the same area of the brain that processes language. So it's easy for most girls to talk about their emotions. In boys, the brain regions involved in talking are separate from the regions involved in feeling. The hardest question for many boys to answer is, tell me how you feel. So I'm sure at some level, every parent of a boy, this resonates with a little bit. Um, and gee, it makes a lot of sense, and there's research that supports it. But if I told you this study was based on 19 uh, adolescents and that the data weren't even fully statistically significant, and I mean, it's just an enormous extrapolation. And, and so it's a way of peddling stereotypes, trying to give them the validation of science.